Hello everybody, my name is RileySky100 and I'm going to be playing through Shatterhand on the NES. My favorite 8-bit game that came out on the NES. And you might be wondering, why? Well, isn't Super Mario Bros. your favorite NES game? Well, no. I pretty much had a hard time trying to beat that game, so... But this game caught my attention back in the day when I was young. And as you'll see here, it's uh, pretty unique to me. It holds pretty near and dear to my heart and I'm doing this video because I ran to this I was I usually skim for videos on YouTube for anything newly Shatterhand related most of the times I find videos that are related to something called old Shatterhand which I think was like a German movie series or something like that but I have no idea I'm not German of sorts I'm not that much of an extra so anyways um I'm doing this video because I saw I came upon this guy that uh, does these videos. His name is Atlas Vids, and what he does is like take like uh, playthroughs of like NES games of some sort and makes them enhance them to a point where I can't even I don't even know how you can bring them to them. I mean, he's HD them and made like the maps like more viewable for players to see before you get to the next point. He's even, uh, made, he's like the first person I came across on YouTube with, the uh, capability of making videos to 2160p HD. That's 4K high resolution. And I'm like, damn, how the hell do you get to that kind of resolution on YouTube? I tried to view one of his videos like that myself, but I've experienced much slowdown, so I don't think my laptop is capable of making, uh, watching 4K videos yet, but I hopefully will hopefully I'll acquire a computer that will be capable of running those videos. Anyways, like I wanted to see like if he could Atlas Vids could make like a video for a shatter hand and he said he would, but instead why don't I just make a collaboration for Shatter Hand? I thought, yeah, that'd be good. And I wanna show one part here. There we go. Here's something that not many people uh, take note of. I've only seen one other video do this. Watch this. This is the only time in the game where you can punch a hidden wall and it'll get you a small or large coin or nothing at all. And, ah, damn it. I thought I was gonna avoid that. Usually I get through this level without taking a one single damage. I'm that much of a pro, but I don't know. I'm not like used to playing games while doing a commentary at the same time. I was gonna do this like after I play the game and view it and commentate on it, but I thought it wouldn't be so authenticated, so I thought I'd do it while I'm playing it. After all, it is uh, my favorite NES game. So yeah, he asked me to do this, and I had trouble trying to pull this off. So, but now, hopefully, with this, I'm able to do so. And see, I'm a power set man. Yeah. Now the first boss is. In my opinion, the most, the easiest boss I've ever faced. Literally, you can take this guy down in less than 10 to 12 seconds if you know what to do. Especially with the power armor. And all this guy does will do just that. And any pro can take this guy down in like less than like 6 to 8 seconds. But here I think I took it down in like 10 seconds or so. And there he goes, bam. And yeah, so... What, I do have a YouTube channel called Riley Sky 100 of the same name, so, and what I do there is review, like, uh, retro games that are mostly obscure, and right now I'm recently, uh, doing, like, a uh, voice recordings for, uh, a Super NES game called Mr. Nuts, and if you've never heard about it, neither have I, and this was, like, a, it's an, an average game, so yeah, I, yeah, so here you can usually, like, go to any other level you want in order, but since I'm pretty much an OCD kind of freak sometimes, I'm just gonna go in order. So, Area B, the factory, and this is pretty much, like, everyone's, like, favorite level because of the tune, which is probably the most remixed Shatterhand tune, aside from the other one, which I will explain after I beat this game. 
I, after I beat this level, I mean, <laughs> after I beat this game, it'll take me a while, as long as I don't die. And, yeah, it's like, I've grown like, I've actually beaten this game like, I've actually beaten this game without dying like at least once or twice, but, uh, but I don't know if I'll be able to make it through like that, I mean, this game is, it's not easy to beat, it is challenging. And I do like the graphics and art style of the game. It's kind of, it's kind of similar to Bat Sunsoft's Batman on the NES, but but I favor this game more than sh Batman because like the movement on Batman is pretty sluggish. And taking this guy out in the Japanese version called Takai Shirei Soul Brain can be done within five hits, even with the power armor. This one's some hits, so I'm gonna ignore that box because I know that's a bomb. And I'm a pretty huge fan of Shatterhand because I like to try to achieve anything that's related to Shatterhand. I have like a mini collection at the moment because I find him pretty unique. And I see that in like many obscure games that have been overlooked that could have had so much potential, but may many people just didn't see it. I think the main fault is because of how we Americanize the freaking box covers, and that's one of the cases for Shatterhand. And this part is kind of tricky, but not- Whoa! Oh, God! Okay, so that was impossible. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. And so, yeah, I'm happy like to uh, do this video. I can't- I don't know how it's gonna look like in 2160k HD or 4k whatever it's it, it, it's it, I mean I've never thought I see like uh, NES games like these in that high resolution and I'm like I don't know how long this video is gonna take I think I'm gonna keep on playing until I get a game over which will be a, will be a little while and no oh, wait yeah, I'm not gonna waste my time because I don't want to get into the lava and take more damage. Come on, and yeah, but I've wanted to do something like this as a collaboration, but I haven't gotten the time around to do so, and that's mainly because I've been busy with work. And while I'm on the subject of work, I know this is a bit off topic, but I wanted to get to like how I got more time on this now because. Recently, my work is going through a lot of crap at the moment, and I'll be fair- Oh man, I lost my bot. I'll be fair, I work at Market Basket. It's like a chain of like uh, grocery stores that has over 71, ranging from Massachusetts to New Hampshire, and even up in Maine recently. And it's been going through a lot of hell because the everyone's favorite CEO was fired by the board of directors. Yeah, the board of directors can be a real pain in the ass. And oh, here's the thing. This kind of thing is never explained in the instruction manual of the game. So, you're pretty much mystified on that. So, the Pogoborgs. In Soul Brain, in the Japanese version, this was replaced by the Area C boss used in... Used in this game, but... Originally, these were gonna be... Alright, the easiest way to take out this guy is... Okay, not that way, but get a circle around him, and... Yeah, like that. And my work is going through hell because... Everyone's favorite CEO was recently fired because of, like, from the board, and... Since then, like, the main office has walked out, and... They're pretty much going... And because of that, no delivery trucks are being shipped out to the stores, including mine. And so, and our produce section went dry at an alarming rate, and I was very surprised at it myself. And the new CEOs, that one of them is like a former CEO of Radio Shack. Yeah, that can't be a good sign, right? <laughs> Radio Shack. All right, Area C. Before I get more into work, this area, Area C, the submarine, in the Soul Brain game. It's a carnival level, and for some and for some reason, the theme in the carnival level in Soul Brain seems to be everyone's favorite, even though it's not a Shatterhand game. I mean, 
even though the developers of the game uh, admitted that they didn't like the carnival level Natsume, they admitted that in an interview, which I can't remember where I read from, that they didn't like the carnival level, but they went with it anyways, because for a licensed TV show or something like that. And, yeah, I could have punched that guy's bullets out, but I decided to play it cool. Yeah, see? See, you can punch bullets. How often do you play a game where you can punch friggin' bullets? Wrap that around your head. And this is probably the most underrated Shatterhand tune in the game. And up there, I always thought there was a secret up in that path at the ceiling. I try to go up there, but it's like pretty much of a death set for me. Aw, oh, damn it, why did I go through that? Oh man. Okay, so yeah, so. This is pretty much. Yeah, so. What was I? Oh yeah, this was pretty. Sorry, I'm not used to. I'm not used to commentating while I'm playing. It's just not the easiest thing for me to do. But still, yeah. Where was I? I'm getting way off topic. So we transition here, and it's kind of pretty freaky on the enemies, like here, we got the Cyber Ghouls and the Embryos. Imagine how they're remade in a remake of Shatterhand, and these guys will pursue you until they disappear. And if you want to get a bigger coin from these, you can go up to them, but you'll probably get hit by these Cyber Ghouls, so it's better off to keep your distance like I'm doing. And yeah, this is just pretty unique, and I actually like this level better than the carnival level in Soul Brain, because it has more design to it, and it has a more, because in my opinion, it has a more favorable tune. That's not to say the carnival level is bad, but it's just, it doesn't fit well with a Shatterhand game, you know anything? Hey, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, it works, so... Since the delivery truck stopped coming to our stores, we're pretty much running low on supplies on what to sell to our customers. And and the new CEO said they threatened to fire anyone that threatened to fire any employee that participates in the rally against these new changes. And over the weekend, eight people lost their jobs because they participated in a rally. And I think that's pretty unorthodox and unethical because. We as Americans have a right to protest for whatever reason, and and we can't have that right taken away from us. And here, and yet, here's this private company that is firing eight people just because they're supporting this one, all this one guy. It's kind of getting me thinking of Saving Private Ryan. But yeah, don't know how this is relevant with Shatterham, but. So yeah, there was a rally that was happening today, Monday, which I think by now is, you probably watch this on a different day, it's, today's like Monday the 21st, and, and people have, have rallied like more than 2,000 people, I think 5,000, yeah, I think 5,000 rivaled in Tewksbury, where the store originated, to in support for this guy named Arthur T. Demolis, because of a long, long ass feud that has been lasting for over, for more than four decades, I believe. It's a crazy ass story, but if you want to know more about it, be my guest. But I really don't care because I'll be gone within a month, so I'll be looking for a job somewhere else that'll be more paying in. And this, and this, and the special thing about this company is that they, this is one of those companies where it's like profit sharing, and that, and not a lot of companies can say they do profit sharing. And apparently, Arthur T's cousin, Arthur Res, doesn't like that. He's just like the... Some some kind of scumbag of some sort. And right here is a jacket, and here's the next part, which is uh, Cyborg Ape. Or Cyber Gate, whatever. And this boss is in Area B of the Soul Brain game. All you have to do is just, just do that. Yeah, at the right time. And I've actually seen uh, artwork done of these bosses, and they're actually pretty good. Punch. Yep. I just like it. Every time you defeat these bosses, they just keep exploding, and bam, just like that. Hey, that's Area C, and I like this better than the 
carnival level. Sorry if any of you like Soul Brain, but I don't. It's just another Power Ranger-like show of some sorts. It was just based on a TV show that aired for only one year in Japan, so I don't know why they had to make it as a licensed game, man. I've read somewhere that Shadow Hand was going to be re released in both the US and Japan, but Ban what one of Bandai's subsidiary companies called Angel wanted wanted Natsume to redevelop it as a licensed game in Japan. And it wasn't uncommon back then to have a subsidiary company because they were formed to get around Nintendo's rule of releasing like only five games on their NES a year, and Konami was well known for doing such. For example, with Ultra Games, they formed just to get around that. And anyone that is a fan of Konami will know this his will know their history pretty well. And I like my share of Konami, but the way they're going at, especially with Silent Hill, I'm not really buying into it. I'm pretty much I really like love survival horror games that are unique. And to those who are wondering, no, I have not played Amnesia, but I will someday, and I'll probably make a playthrough of that. But I don't think it'll be as je be as spectacular as say Markiplier, who who more than loves survival horror horror games, and and he's just a huge fan of like amnesia and all sorts. But anyways, and Area D, I always thought it would be some sort of like I always thought it should have a winter-like environment, like have like snow falling from the sky of some sort. I thought that'd be more fitting. And the theme is pretty good. In fact, it's so good that some that a guy named Killdozer85 actually like <coughs> composed it as an orchestra that sounds pretty epic. And I always like calling these guys the Irish Cyborg. And the music I've heard from Killdozer85, and he does have a YouTube channel, and I'm many subscribers. He does these great com compositions of like NES games of some sorts, and I listen to his Area D composition. It's fantastic. And if you ever get the chance, you should listen to it. And mostly the any Shire Hand remixes I hear are like in Russian language whenever I download them to hear them. And it's always interesting because I think there's like a huge following in Russia for Shire Hand, but I don't know how much of a following there is for it right now in Russia because Russia's probably the last place you want to be right now currently. Though, when this video gets out, I don't know what state that will be in. But yeah, I take these fans out. They're not hard, but they're just a slippery environment. Which is what we're and <coughs> Sometimes when I open these boxes and I see this bo I see there's a bag, I always thought it's, think it's a grenade, so I turn away and then, oh god, there's a bag! I gotta keep punching it, punching it! Oh god, no, because that's always happened to me. And, and these goop guys, yeah. And... And the water physics is pretty kind of gnarly here. It's just, it's frustrating, but it keeps true to how you would swim underwater. And I don't know how Shatterhand's breathing. You know, breathing, especially with those metal legs holding him down. So yeah, there's like a special platform in this level. Where that you will, that is not going to be found. And I'm going to save that. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get hit! <laughs> and he's mine. Mine's goodbye. So, yeah. Pretty proud. I'm, I'm pretty excited for myself because I, n I don't do, like, live commentary while I'm playing much. Also. Oh, God, there's a mine under me. And up here, if you want, is an extra life platform. And these cost 2,000 points gold. And these are and there are only two of them in the entire game. One in, one here and one in area E, which I which I will play after I beat this level. Come on, beat it, beat it, beat it. That's what she said. Oh god damn. Okay. Or you don't want to lose your bot at this point. If you do, it's not gonna make the boss battle easy. Rather, it's just gonna make Oh god. Oh, jeez, I only have three health points left. Wow. Yeah, it's not Yeah, it's not very hard to get through this level. I mean, there's a much harder level than this. 
no doubt it's the final level. And what was this up here, if I recall, is, uh, guard, but I don't want that. Wait, I think I know a way around this. Oh, God. You know what the hell with this? I'll try to get to it without getting the health power station. I'm pretty badass for this. I'm I'm ready to roll. Oh, yeah, I gotta be careful when you're when you're low on that much health. You want to be careful, just so you don't want to run into a grenade and up. This is the first time where I discovered the hidden platforms, and I, and again, this is never mentioned in the instruction manual. And you would think they would have done that, but no, they don't. And this is why you. And this is why you're gonna need this power suit because this boss is rather kind of difficult. But actually, it would it'd be more difficult if the platform that was covering those balls of spikes below were not there. And with this, well, you can spam as much fireballs as you please until you run out. And he has a lightsaber. I, do, I like the fact that he has a lightsaber. And there you go. I'm going through this pretty smooth. As long as I don't encounter too much trouble, then I'll be good. Hey, buddy, you're back. Oh, uh, yeah, my favorite bot here is a uh, bomber because I find it more effective. The worst bot you could have is a flamethrower. It's it's pretty effective with the flame, but it's very hard to control because when you try to punch someone that's come that gets through the flame, the stretch of flame pretty much uh, dims down. And there's a floater bot, which only, uh... And yeah, this is Area E. The Anti-Gravity Research Center, although it starts you off on a cliff of some sort. I don't know if it's, uh... Wrong. And, yes, it does restore your health every time you start at another level, and thank God for that. Okay, it's too difficult as it is. Watch out. These, bo these boulders will come out of nowhere, but just remember they're where they land. Oh, God. And I know that, I know you would want to go for the fast, for the highest score, but just ignore them. Plus, these Shatterhand cartridges, unfortunately, never came with backup batteries, so once you've uh, reset the game, your score is pretty much gone. This is a real... Oh, God. No. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't think you can duck from them either. Yeah, so it's gonna be rat tad difficult getting through here. Oh god. Yeah, this is just insane. Back, back. No, you don't. Oh, come on. Don't worry, I'll find another jacket. It's health. Thank you. Yeah, so, wow, this commentary actually is going through pretty, uh, fast. And here, yeah, here's my Irish Cyborg. The reason why I call him an Irish Cyborg is because, of uh, because he has that red beard and all that. He looks like a bear. Yeah, I don't know how much my voice is going to project that well, but I'm use using Audacity, so... Yeah, here's that red jacket. And, oh yeah, we got the arrows telling you to go up. Yeah, like the gates weren't obvious enough. Come on, punch, punch, punch. Damn it. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know why I keep going through these points, even though these games never, these shagging cartridges never give me backup batteries, but, I don't know, I just kind of want to show off, maybe. Watch out here because running around here will There you go. Yeah, it's pretty tricky when you're up there. Yeah, you don't need this, thank you. You won't necessarily need the the power armor for the upcoming boss for the boss in this level, but it wouldn't hurt to use it. No, it wouldn't hurt to use it at all. But Oh and I oh and I don't like these. These are called urchins, and if you get near them, they'll keep following you, and whenever you destroy them, they 
They spit out projectiles of some sorts. Am I itch? Yeah, this is gonna take me a while, so excuse me if this process gets a bit longer. And I just like the fact that you're just going on anti it's just anti gravity. And oh god. And I wanna do this first because. Necessarily do this, but I always find it nice view. You you are invincible with this armor, but unfortunately, it only it just takes away from the time you have on it. So, and, and although it starts you off with 15, with 15 seconds, I say it's more like 30 seconds or so. And there goes my time. Punch! 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 punch. Damn it! Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to look in 4K, because I think my computer will just slow down from the compatibility of the quality, but hopefully it will look pretty darn good. And this is the part where you can go up and upside down, right side up on this part. Yeah, I get these are this, get, this part is a bit troublesome. Yeah, I like to play it safe. It's just I'm not ready for a commitment yet. I want to have kids someday, but not at a young age. And I don't know why people, teenagers, feel the need to have a child when they're not ready to be a parent. I mean, they don't know the first thing about it. They don't know the first thing about it because their parents never taught them much about it, and when their parents tried it, they just pushed them away. I mean, people always call me a smart one because I like to play smart. Right, you know what? I'll just do this. You know, you know what? F it. I'll just we'll do it live. Yeah, I'm being much of a coward on that. And this is where the other extra live life is. These are all. There are only two of them in the game. Makes you wonder. Why? And I won't need that because I don't believe I'll die that much. And here is uh, help power up the hidden one. And yep, next is Gravitus. And what's interesting about Gravitus in the uh, Soul Brain, he's actually portrayed as a female enemy. It's the same thing with like an area C. Oh God. And you can stop him from stop Gravitus from like throwing out those ball those gravity balls. Oh, they'll change how you're fighting. But you have to be at close range to do it. I don't know if I'm gonna pull it off here. Ow. We got okay. Got okay. Okay, come on. All right, I'm I'm too much of a. Oh my god! <laughs> I got it. I mean her. I mean I do want to bring this game a uh, give this game a remodernization and an interesting story because I want to give a story for Gravitus and it's gonna be pretty interesting if I ever get to it, and I know I will, because I've set off to do so. That's how much I love this game. It's like one of the most under- it's like the most underrated NES game in the library. And we get to... Area F. Oh boy, this level is gonna be... Yeah, the image just says it all. This level is... Kind of a nightmare. The first one you start off, missiles will fall right, bombs will fall right from the sky. And you have these riot guys trying to keep you in. Look at how much the city is in flames. Wow. Metal Command really wants me dead. And what you want to do is just get away from these bombs as fast as you can. 
get the coin and that and and yeah. And there's a hidden platform there, right where that uh, soldier was standing. But I don't need it since that's like a power suit. Oh god! Come on, no! And watch out for these flames. Grenade. And it's not easy trying to maneuver your way through the flames like that. Because sometimes there's a chance you can hit the flames. And this part here is not is irritating, I will admit. Because of these damn ass choppers. Oh god, I lost my... Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe I should have taken that shit. And you know what? This is one of those games where they could have taken so much liberty into it by adding more stuff to it. Like... You could do something with that train being interactive, like a side, like a side quest or some sort. But they just—I don't know how many people were developing the game or how many people were behind the creativity and ideas for a game. But maybe they had more ideas than what was presented in the game. But I think they couldn't implement them, probably due to time constraint. I'm not familiar with the back. I'm not recognizable of the backstory. I only know a bit of it, and that's. And that's more than anyone knows about because pretty much almost everyone know, knows nothing about the backstory. And I will explain that in a video that I'm planning on releasing soon, if I ever get to it. But there's not a right ass guy. Yeah, I'll just take that health just for uh, good cause measures. So forth. Okay, get this guy out of the way. And this is not going to be easy navigating your way through because you don't want to jump too high or too low. Jump too high, you're going to hit the flame wall. Jump too low, there's most likely you're going to land in the flames. And oh come on, this is why I need him out of the way. Oh god. And this is not going to be good. Come on. I want you to damage my bot. Okay, so now we get to my least favorite part in this level. Oh, wait. You know what? Yeah, I'll go for it. I mean, this, this elevator is a nightmare because not only do you have to contend with, with, these, with more of these choppers, you also have to contend with the freaking turret below you that's attached to the goddamn elevator. It's launching missiles every now and then. And these gears can hurt you. That's why I'm, I'm avoiding them. So, lightly yeah. And I'm not so sure... Uh, and take note, every box you hit with this armor, it will turn into gold coins. Into coins. And... It doesn't matter if there's a power-up in that box, it will turn into a coin. Which is... sucks, because... I would need it more. Come on, game. Please do not let me die here. I do not want to... I want to beat this game without dying. At least not... at least not get a game over. And this part is kind of tricky. It's like... Yeah, I forget the coins. They're not much worth there, since there's... No backup battery, thank you, Natsume or Jaliko, whatever. Whoa, grenade. Okay, so. Oh god, no, no, no. Well, well, thankfully he's the last one, so I won't have to worry too much. Ow. Okay, so what you want to do is kneel down and make sure you're in a confined space where you won't get hurt by the gears. And while I avoid this machine, and it will go down. And after this is uh, on the way to the next boss. Let me get myself centered here. And it's pretty critical if you're in, uh, if you have like two or one health bar. I've actually sometimes reached this point where I've only had one health bar, and sometimes I died, sometimes I made it. And up next is the boss, 
which is probably my favorite boss in this game, Infernon, is a cyborg ninja, and this is not the easiest thing to, this is probably the hardest boss to defeat. Because he just likes to swipe out. Oh my god. And I don't know if I can beat this guy in. And I know there's a trick you can beat. You can hit this guy without getting without getting hit by his blade attack. So that's pretty interesting. And. Here's an interesting thing. I've managed to beat this. There's an interesting glitch I pulled off one time, and oh my god, I'm gonna die. I don't know if I if I'm able to pull this glitch off, but if I am, I'll be lucky. Oh no! Oh no, I died. But here's the thing. That elevator is not does not uh go for infinity. In fact, it actually has a limit. At the top of, at the end of the elevator, there's a power ball. It's not smart for me, but yeah, when you're in this position, the better thing to do is just get as many jabs as you can before he makes the attack and all that. Just like that. And this might take a while, so bear with me. And I managed to pull this glitch off one time, and. I was down to my last health point and point. My last health point and he was almost dead as well and I managed to hit him but at the same time he hit me and we both went down and I managed to win. Even though I was dead. Yeah. I actually have that video posted on uh, the other channel called Shatter Nation. Oh god, when that happens, you... Oh god. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is gonna take a while until I get to that other point. Wow, I jumped over that! Yeah, this yeah, it's very tricky to get through without getting hit by the gears. Oh, please let me have enough room. Yes, I have enough room. Oh, wow. Yeah, if I could just reach the top of it, I can show you what I mean. And, oh my god, I have two hit points left. Now I have one! Oh god, I almost had it. Wow, this is gonna take some time. Yeah, it's just... Why do they keep attacking you even though you're dead? This is crazy, the lot I didn't thought I had to... Oh, come on, why? I am being... I am being an idiot at the moment. This is just... Too much. Wow, I managed to get avoid that. Jesus Christ, this is just excruciating, especially when I'm commentating. Yeah, don't get too far away from them when you're jumping, otherwise I gotta jump twice like you've seen before. And, oh my god, I have barely avoided that gear. Oh, come on, I have three hit points left. This guy is like a bajillion. Well, ow, now I have two hit points. Oh, no! No! 
Do I have one more health? Do I have one more life left or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, if this is my last life. I'm losing that badly, and I can't even make it to the end of the elevator to show you what I'm talking about with the item box. It could really benefit me pretty well. So, I want to play it smartly. I'm a man on the edge now. So, yeah, so far so good, but... Oh, God. What's happening again? It's hard to get the bigger jabs on this guy. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Uh, all right, so... This is just... See what? This is my least favorite fight. Yeah, this is gonna take me a long while. I don't know if I'm gonna be successful. I'll stop after the... if I get a game over. You can continue. I have unlimited continues. Like a Ninja Gaiden, but... Oh, God. Oh, God. more than I expected. Come on! Yes! <laughs> oh, and just when we were going to get to that box. Look at that. Wow, just one point left. I almost pulled off that glitch again. Yeah, I'm barely alive. <laughs> wow, I'm just... Onto it, but at least I'm able to show you guys the final level, which is yeah, that's the alarm. So at this point, General Gus Grover, yep, yeah, Grover. <laughs> I laughed when I heard that name. Is planning to launch the uh, missiles he hijacked from a special military of some sort, and then launch it on like several key capitals in the on the planet to induce the planet in the global war of some sort, so I have to stop him with my bare fist. And this level is ridiculously insane. You see? See? Oh, come on. And I just can't... This is the part where I would usually waste all my lives on because of this god because of this godforsaken level that's Oh come on, that barely hit me. Whoa, I bar I barely avoided that. Wait, oh, here's a slowdown when there's too much activity going on. And I always thought this thing was, you can't, could never be took, taken out, but as a matter of fact, you can take it out. And if I could get it here. be taken out. I don't think there's any video of Shatter Hand playthroughs where it shows the player taking out this thing. Yep, there it is. First time you see it. Especially in 4K. 4K. <laughs> oh god, I hate these guys. I really hate these guys. When you're close to them, they'll they'll shoot their machine guns, which is a free fire. Oh god. Free fire when you're far away from them, but in sight, they'll throw their grenades and they're not fun. They are not fun at all. Yeah, I barely got through that one. 
please don't let that be a grenade. I don't know how much that serves me. Says no backup battery. Remember that. Yeah, I could show up and punch more, but I want to be as cautious as possible. All right, this is where. I'm Are you kidding me? Did you see that? It just took away my point when I was just about to transform. Oh, no worries, I got help. And that... You could hit, hit that panel easily. And here comes... And this is a level where it returns three of the bosses you faced before. Blazir, Gravitas, and Infernon in order respectively. And the, and the Infernon boss is not... Is is less painful because given the conditions you have to face him in. At least if you're not in the military with gear or something well. And yeah, he's easy. And yeah, this one's easy to beat once again. So I'm just taking my... Oh, God. And just wait for this to recede. I just can't believe that I got hit. Oh god! <laughs> I just can't believe how I got hit at that one point where I was about to transform. Yeah, low can get and I was surprised like how this this low was mapped out, especially when it, when I was given like a poster of the of the entire game by Rick by one uh, Rich, Rick Burns or something. And he's a guy that makes these amazing like NES, Super NES uh, game maps and how he does it is pretty interesting. It involves time consuming methods and it pretty much pays off. He actually sent me three posters because two of them had a misprint with anti-gravity research in there saying init research gravity, init gravity. So, also, and, and I keep the corrected one framed up, and that jump was not easy to make. Okay, so I want to hit this thing, because I'm not going to waste my time playing it stomp me. Okay, easy time. As long as I don't fall into the fire. And you know what that means. Yep. Infernon! Let me beat this guy easily. This is for beating me. Beating me to a freaking pole. And this one is... And Inferno on here is much easier to defeat given the... How you fight him normally with any other boss. So it's not much of a hassle. And yeah. Goodbye, my favorite Star Hand Boss. And, and you notice how like the different filters change. And, oh, anti-gravity, and we know what that means. Oh god, this is gonna be a pain. So yeah, the last the last hidden platform is right there. And just a note, there are no hidden platforms in every, in the first level of the game. Only in... Hold on a sec. Only in... Only, there's only a friggin'... Oh, there's only a friggin' hidden wall. Man, this is just costing me points, and these guys are not easy to take out. Yeah, I'm just saying so because I never recorded my commentary, so... Oh, God. Why did I do that? Oh, God. My boss is almost damaged. You know what? I'm just going to launch you off to safety. Oh, God. And you'll definitely want... The power armor for the final boss. Mm -hmm. 
And that's a strange glitch because there's a friggin' Oh god. Oh wow, this is gonna be bad. Really bad. And here's the thing, there's only one checkpoint in this entire in this entire level. It's after you beat Gravitus, and if you're facing Gravitus, if you get defeated, it doesn't matter. You're going all the way back to the beginning of the freaking level. It's that painful. Why don't you get up here and face me like a man or a woman you are? Get oh, come on! It's just too... Oh, for God's sakes, this is just... I just want to beat you, but if I die one more time, it's pretty much game over for me, so. I'm surprised I've made it this far, even though I lost all my lives. Thank you, Infernon. Oh, I try to punch that. Oh, God. Oh, this is, oh, this is swell. This is really swell. I'm down to one bar, and he's, and she, she, she almost died. Okay, I'm just gonna avoid that just for like whoa that barely I barely survived that. Come on. Oh then why why bring me up there? Why if you're just gonna bring me back down? Oh god. Yeah, it's better to do Oh man. Wow. Come on. I can not. Oh god. Am I gonna die? Nope. Just bring me back. Whoa, that, that, no, 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 no. No! Well, that's pretty much the end. I was gonna show you Grover, which is like uh, pretty much of a pushover compared to Burn on. So yeah, that's pretty much the game over there. Yeah, my score is uh, 293,750. Not bad, not bad at all. And well, that's Shatterhand for the NES for you. Hopefully you guys enjoy this, and I hope uh, it looks great in 2160K 4K. Yeah, 4K HD. I think they'll be pretty impressive. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of what I do, check out my channel, Riley Sky 100. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys and take care.